Salutations, this is Grim DeVell. Welcome back to our Let's Play of, Rim, of uh, I almost said RimWorld, of Civilization VI, uh, Aztec King. Next turn. All right, this trade route is about to... Oh, no, it's going all the way to Sochi Calco, which is cool because it means we get roads right next to Tecnotitlan anyway. Uh, let's, let's see. Now, I think I'm going to use this guy to search the area over here if we can. I don't, I don't know what our poli if Rome has open border policy with us. They might. Maybe that's what the dotted lines mean. If so, we'll take advantage of that. Oh, whoops. I had, Right, we just needed to move that guy, that's all. Nope. Refuse. They're going down. What are these Americans doing? Uh-uh. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we can get in there. Let's do it. We must have an open border policy with them. We're going to explore Rome. All right. Catapult first. Move you out. Um, I think I might want to heal this crossbow. A little. Oh, we can promote it. Perfect. Aerostorm. Wonderful. Can we promote you? Nah. Uh... Yeah, I don't think we can... Oh, yeah, we're just going to fortify till healed there. Okay, and we are going to... I think we'll be able to kill these spearmen here. Um, yeah, let's get you... A, well, how close... Can you see how close they are promoting? Yeah. So, only a little experience for you to go up, and a little more for you. It would be nice... Oh, we can upgrade these guys to crossbowmen if we have the money. How much does it cost? 200. That's a lot of gold that we don't have. Um, but crossbowmen are super powerful. I think, compared to these archers. Nice. Very nice. Okay, move you out here. And this guy here. Oh, you can attack. Yeah, let's attack. Very nice. More experience. Okay, we don't want to get into bombard range. Okay. So I guess you are just going to stay there for now. You are going to... Mm, yeah, I guess you could come up through... You could, yeah, do that. That seems great. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, feudalism, one more turn and we'll switch. Melanalco needs housing, but they are building a granary, so. Okay. Here we go. That means we're, we almost have feudalism. Money. If it does not bring you happiness, will at least help you be miserable in comfort. Thank you. All right. What are we researching now, boys and girls? Good question. So we have machinery. Um, what can we get a boost for next? Oh, we're going to be improving sea resources. Well, once those, once those uh, builders are built in uh, that city with a hard name to pronounce... All right, well, let's get halfway there, I guess. Why not? Unless there's something else we want. We don't have three mines yet. If we're getting feudalism soon, we might as well start getting stirrups. And by the time we get feudalism, it'll be about... It means we'll probably get stirrups at the, around the same time. Or you got promoted. Um, do we want to promote you or have you fire? Let's promote you. All right, you are going to be attacking the city, maybe? Um, oh, that's defending. This is all defense. Oh, no, this is versus district defenses here. Um, yeah, let's do it. Garrison. And if not, you can, you'll can. you probably be garrisoned in Etz, Cap, Boat, Salco. So you should attack. Maybe we should have moved them down one, but that's okay. And you, yeah, let's move you over here. Ooh, look at all these Roman units. Fascinating. 
All right, let's build an iron mine. Very nice. Now we can build swordsmen if we want. Um, okay. Catapult. You are very important to our plans. Come over here. You come up here. You come over here. You come down here. And you... Yeah. Come up here. And how about you? Down here? Sure. Uh, stay there. And next turn? Yeah. So I just realized my cat's face is literally right in front of the microphone. So if you... I didn't realize this, but if you guys can hear, like weird noises or you know sniffles or breathing that is the cat that is not me that is not my computer that is not the game that is a a cat uh making noises right in front of the microphone right kitten uh okay choose production all right uh clacopan what are we going to do with you I think uh, we might want housing capacity for you. We might. Well, we just built a builder. Huh. We just built a builder for you. Now let's build a granary. We might need eight, We might need walls down here, actually. This is going to be a front line at some point. But let's build a granary first. We have a swordsman here. This builder, well, if we build a farm, we immediately get feudalism. So, let's do it. Um, right by the river, right? I mean, let me make sure here. It doesn't give extra food by the river. So, maybe we don't want to do that? Because other things can be built by rivers, like um, things that have more appeal. We'll just build it out here. Farm. We have uncovered a way to increase our farming output. Because of feudalism. I suggest we try to maintain. T Fantastic. With the of feudalism came the growth of iron. Okay, this is where we really start excelling because we can now newly trained builders gain two extra build actions. All right, get rid of these. I'm gonna do that, and we're going to do. Um, where is it? Where's the one for builders? Do we not have it? We don't have the one that gives you extra production towards builders yet. Okay, then. All right, we'll keep the production in cities. Huh. Okay. Oh, and what about the envoys? Did we... Do we still have... Oh, you know what? Is it too late? I don't want this one. It is too late, isn't it? Okay, that's too bad. I'd rather have the charismatic leader at this point. Um, okay. So you did that. Let's get these animals down here. And now that we're done feudalism... All right, so let's find out how we get the extra production towards builders. Um, what is that? Where is that civic? Civil service? Meritocracy, no. Alliance, no. Guilds. Medieval fairs. Mercenar not mercenaries. Naval. Where is the plus 30% production towards, um, towards builders? I thought it would be earlier. We have the one for settlers. Um... It wouldn't be these. Mercantilism? No. The Enlightenment? No. I feel like it would have to be earlier than that stuff. Oh, well, that's that's a combination of things, right? Civil engineering? I mean, we do want that, but... I did, isn't there one that's like a standalone plus 30% production for builders? Was it there and I just didn't see it? What's wrong with me? Hold on. Um, no, it, it is not here. 
Maybe there isn't one? Maybe it's only that one that's like a combination policy? I am super confused. Oh, maybe it's a technology. Oh, and not a civic. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, what would it be then? Um, well, I, well, no, it's, a, it's definitely a policy. And tech doesn't give you policies. So it would have to be civics. I feel like I am missing something here. I really, really thought there was a plus 30% production towards builders. But apparently, apparently I'm very wrong. All right, then. Um, point is, we need, to, we need to pick a Civic. And uh, apparently that's not one. So let's try to get maybe, let's go for a new kind of government. Uh, I don't think we want to focus on faith. All right, so do we want, yeah, hold on. Let's, let's take a look here at the governments. So theocracy gives you land combat units. You can buy land combat with faith, uh, but we don't have a whole lot of faith. Monarchy plus two housing in any city with medieval walls. Bonus influence points. That might be nice, uh, especially as a legacy bonus. Um, because those, in, uh, being, being suzerains later on can be super, super powerful. Merchant Republic gives you more trade routes. We do need more trade routes. Discount on gold purchases. That would be really cool. We don't have a big navy right now. At this point, we might want to go for monarchy, I think. Um, of course, we would lose a... The thing is, we want, we want the, uh, the yellow policy slots. Well, we'll see what we can get. Maybe theocracy would be fine, at least temporarily. We do have the wild card slot that we could use. What are we, what's in our wild card, card slot right now? Conscription. Oh, okay, so we're using it for a military. So, yeah, that might be fine. So monarchy might be great. It takes less turns to research than the other ones, so we, we could do it first also. And maybe get Merchant Republic later. Five, four. So, but this one is shorter on the chain, which is interesting, isn't it? So maybe we do just go straight for Merchant Republic. And look, mercenaries, we already have a boost for. Um, we need to get Medieval Fairs and uh, maintain four trade routes to get that. I don't know if we're going to get that. And Medieval Training, we already have a boost for. So you know what? Yeah, let's beeline for uh, Merchant Republic. Build an encampment. All right, and then to get a boost after that, uh, we need four trade routes. Of course, we don't have the capacity for that. We already have the boost for mercenaries. And two caravels. I don't know. Well, we can try to focus on trade routes, but that would be really nice for us, actually. Okay, you go up here. Do it. Okay, uh, catapult. Let's start moving you in. So I think next turn we can really start attacking. Now our timed units have eight turns remaining. That should be enough time to do some damage. Uh, you keep exploring. Um, yeah, you can move up here. Just stay there. And you can heal here. Uh, you stay there. You come up here. You stay there. You stay there. Okay. Uh, are we ready for the next turn? So new builders, like we're building here, should have five builds which is going to be awesome, especially since there are already four research resources here. Um, now, yeah, so this means that when we, we might want to start focusing on builders and therefore districts uh, after this next round of building. Nope, we're taking your city. And once we take the city, we can cool down on our military a bit. I think. Of course, we're going to lose a bunch of units, too, because they're mercenaries. What? Oh, right here. Okay. I think it's, uh, this barbarian outpost appeared 
or appeared to us. Okay, uh, we'll keep scouting down here. Very interesting. A lot of desert that no one's taken. Perfect place for, uh, what's it? Uh, Petra. Which is a wonder. Uh, let's get the rocks here. Okay, and now we can start moving in. All right, we can have you attack you before we have the warrior attack. In fact, we could have this archer do it too. Oh, um, yeah, great. And this warrior can just be basically cannon fodder. Go in here, protect us from barbarians on that side. You come in um, here. You, well... You come in here. Oh, whoops. Not, not fortify. I meant ranged attack. No, you can't range attack. Okay. I guess you're fine there. And you come down. You come down here. And how many turns do we have left? Seven. Well, we might just use them to explore up there. We don't have room over here even for everybody, so... And you come up here. Okay. Um, who's attacking us here? Well, they're attacking the swordsman, which is good. A Viking longship. Okay. These things can attack on land, I think. They can attack land units, if I remember correctly. Uh, what was that? Who was just attacked? Oh, okay. Wait, no. What just happened? I don't think that was us, whoever it was. I think it was their bar maybe the barbarians attacking Norwegian units. Um, choose production and so no, in Technotitlan. All right, I think it is time to build builders like crazy. Uh, Ixtapaluka. Um, you should build a builder as well, actually. And you, a quarry. Okay. Catapult. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um, let's move you down here. Okay, good to know. Let's move you over here. Okay, let's have you, if you move here, can you attack anything? No, let's move you up. You, move you over here. Uh, you cannot attack that unit. What if we move you here? And can you attack? Oh, yes, you can. Sweet. Uh, this guy already moved? No, you didn't. I think I would rather uh, have this guy come in and hopefully destroy them, move into this uh, tile. Beautiful. And now you can come in this way. You can come in over here and fire. Oh, you can fire on the long ship. Yeah, let's do that. Beautiful. And you, uh, yeah, get down in here. Getting down and dirty. And need more housing in Sochi Calco, but one more turn and they will... Wait, no, Granary doesn't give housing. Wait, does it? Yes, it does. Um, Granary, show me what it does. Oh, my gosh. What? Get, uh, fine, I'll look it up. Okay, it does get plus two housing. Great. That's next turn. Okay. I feel... I think we're going to take this city. Uh, oh, right. Wait, where? What builder? Where are you? No, where are you? Oh. 
Uh, yes, please build a pasture there. And of course, amenities uh, give us additional strength. So maybe it'll be worthwhile getting this chocolate soon, because that we don't have chocolate yet, I don't think. Uh, and we have coffee down here, too. Of course, we it'll be 12 turns before we get it. All right. Um, yeah, keep exploring over here. Okay, another Roman city. Good to know. What is this? Oh, barbarians. Um, where's the outpost? Oh, right there. Uh, it's kind of far. We don't have any defenders over here. Maybe we'll have this heavy chariot attack down there. Although, how many? Five turns remaining? Might not be able to get down there in time. So the question is, do we have the swordsman go attack it? Well, we definitely need the swordsman to attack this ranger so word doesn't get back to the outpost. Of course, we didn't quite kill it, which is too bad. Ooh, we found Jakarta. Uh, we don't have any envoys, but they are also a gold one, just like Zanzibar. Um, Zanzibar is really good for us. And this one, trading posts in foreign cities provide an additional gold to your trade routes passing through. Okay, that's nice. Uh, train a crossbowman. Oh, I would love to train a crossbowman. Oh, we have the gold for a crossbowman, don't we? And that would give us an envoy? Of course, that has to be in our... We won't be able to do it until this land is ours unless we move a crossbowman, uh, an archer back. But I think we're going to take it very soon, so... Bam. Come on. Bring it down. Um, all right, what are we going to do with you now? Do we mine? Do we farm? Uh, oh, yeah, let's get that resource up there. Perfect. And what are we going to do with you? One more build. Question is, do we get chocolate? I think we want to save our money to get a crossbowman for the envoy, at least. Um, do you need more food or more production, is the question. Uh, what do we have? So we're at plus 9 production plus 11 food. Yeah, I think maybe more production. So let's build a lumber mill. Okay. And now that the walls are gone, let's see how much damage we can do here. Move you over here. Ooh. Yeah. We're going to take this outpost. Beautiful. We give us a little cushion on our gold. You, we are going to have come up here. And in fact, wait. Can you move in there? Yeah, you're going to move in there. And you, major victory if we do that. And their walls are gone. They can't bombard or anything. Let's do it. All right, I feel like this chariot over here is healthy enough. And uh, there are only five turns remaining, so let's use them effectively. Move up here. Mm -hmm. And you will just have to stick around there. This guy might be a goner because of this horse, a horse archer. Hmm. All right, Xochicalco, you have, you could use some amenities. Um... So what we're going to do is you're going to build builders as well. And then we will build like an entertainment district, maybe. Uh, also, those horses would be really nice to have. But um, OK. We are going to start. It is time to start building districts very soon. Nice. Hmm. I can't wait till we take the city. It'll be nice to have um, a location like this with these resources. I think it's we'll have to, um, to kill. oh. How come men have to go into training to learn how? Thank you, Joan Baez. Um, 
raid we don't need raiding production from towards encampment districts and buildings for that district we don't need that either i'd rather have the maintenance so we're fine um so that was stirrups what what can we research now how do we not have three mines yet we've got to be close to three mines and districts how, how close are we to getting um this okay one more turn before that one and we're going to get the sea resources soon which means celestial navigation although that what that gives us a harbor that might be important later but it's not that important right now it's not really priority um oh wait a minute stirrups one turn i'm confused i thought we just got it what did we just get Oh, we got uh, the Civic. Right, this was just queued up. When I queue stuff up, it always confuses me. Okay, so right now, we're going for Medieval Fairs. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get Fort Raid Roots anytime soon. So I think I'm fine going for Medieval Fairs right now. Oh, they're Drum and Poetry. We're not going to build a Wonder anytime soon either. Let's get Drum and Poetry uh, so we can build theater districts because if we have amenity problems, that could be important. Although I think entertainment district will be more important. Can we even build an entertainment district yet? I'm not certain. Um, that's actually a good question. We can. We sure can. Actually, yeah. So what are we going to have you build? Would you just finish? Uh, it wasn't a builder. I don't know what it was. Probably a granary or something. Um, a water mill is not going to help you that much because you don't have wheat or rice. Um... Now, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to do more districts, right? Districts for you. So do another builder. Send envoy. Uh, right. Um, I guess Jakarta. Well, we have two here. We wouldn't be able to become the suzerain, but it would give us another gold. Well, this would give us a gold, too. Uh... Oh, right, and because of our policy, this would give us two. Perfect. Right? Sure did. Which means we are close to becoming its suzerain. All right, unit needs orders. Yep. Um, we're going to try to get back. Yeah, we'll have to chase down. Because otherwise, this, they're just going to send us some tons of units our way if we don't uh, destroy them immediately after the scout gets back. You keep scouting around here. You built a lumber mill. Oh, sweet. Okay. It is time to take Nidaros. Now, if they don't have another city, which I don't think they do, if I take it, it means their longship will be gone. Question is, do I use this archer to attack that longship? Oh, wait. Oh, the longship is in their city. Okay. So, we're just going to attack the city regardless. Uh, what about you? Can Did you move? No, you did not move. Um, yeah, we'll have you attack there. You might take it. And if not, the swordsman will take it. Heck yeah. Oh man. I kind of feel a little bad, but not that bad. All right, we got uh, knowledge of celestial navigation because he already has two worked sea resources. That's nice. Yes, keep the city. Uh, what is this? Capital captured. Yes, it has. Okay, what are you going to build here? Um, let's repair the monument. The thing is, there's so many um, uh, pillaged tiles here that I think we might have this builder just go up and quickly repair them before anything. Uh, on the other hand, we could have the builder do like all four resources here, and then before it uses all of the resources, um, come up here and repair. All right, if you attack here, it's a... Oh, it's a major victory, huh? And you only have four turns remaining. Yeah, go for it. And you come down here, and you'll be able to attack them next turn. 
Oh, and you got a promotion. Fantastic. You might die before you are able to redeem that promotion, but uh, that's okay. You come, whoops. No, no. You come this way too. Well, you can't yet. Can you go into the city? You cannot go into the city yet. Just fortify until healed. Um, let's get a crossbowman. Can you, I can't upgrade. Oh, I could upgrade you, couldn't I? Do it. Oh. Crossbowman. And yep, city state quest completed. We get an envoy for Jakarta. And we are now, oh, we're not their suzerain. Oh, someone else. I think someone last turn went up, made, had to go up to four or something. I don't know what. I'm surprised I'm not the suzerain. Well, uh, now we get more golden commercial hubs. We'll definitely need commercial hubs soon. Okay. Um, chariot. I am so glad we finally took Nadaros and destroyed the Vikings. All right, one more turn, and then we'll call it an episode. We'll get this builder built. That was fantastic. I feel like we can now actually focus on building up our cities. Yep, that's okay. Temporary the unit. Stirrup in the ground. All right, we got stirrups. What are we going to research? Let's see. Yeah, um, do we want celestial navigation? Allows traders to embark. Oh, we can't harvest fish until we get it? Oh, we definitely need that then. I didn't realize that. Good thing we got the boost for it. Um, yeah, let's just look down here real quick and then move you back. So we got a promotion. Oh, the catapult. Great. I'll take it. Uh, definitely going to be first districts is what we want. So You, well... You attack you. Oh, wow. Our archers are awesome. Uh, you, well, come up here and then, oh. All right, just stay there, I guess. Um, crossbowmen will probably want to move you down south because that's probably where, or to our capital maybe. Um, we'll start moving over there and then there's the road. Uh, build a mine there. Oh, wonderful. Oh, and that completed a city state. Qu oh, great. That uh, keeps our hold in Kabul a little more sure, surely. We can move you out of here. Uh, we can move the swordsman into here. And then fortify till healed. Um, actually, we probably want uh, some kind of archer unit in there. So maybe we'll move this guy in soon and you we can move back down to here oh oh and you can be promoted well i don't know if we need that oh okay so we finally got you i guess because of the sea resources thing um we can do these but uh that uh this turn we can get the food here so or the farm going so let's do that first and you have five builds which is awesome that's going to be huge for us. All right. It looks like there might be an outpost up here. And I don't know if our heavy chariot here... Well, the heavy chariot's going to disappear in three turns anyway. So we might want to start moving some units up there. Uh, some of our own units, of course. Oh, we might want to settle over here. Uh, you, Yeah. Choose production. Okay. You finally built that builder. Uh, you were over housing capacity. Let us get you a granary uh, toot suite. Uh, need more housing in Nadaros. Yep, we'll work on that. Same with food. And warrior was destroyed. That's okay. Okay, that's going to be the episode. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this episode as much as I did, please leave a like. Um, and uh, please, you know, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Leave comments. I love those comments. What's going on here? No, stop. Um... And I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.